Time for the big race of the week. And now the Mackerson Gold Cup. It's a grade three handicap. Two mile, four and a half furlongs. And you can keep your group ones. This is the big race for me. Ocean of Lecker, Darren Thompson. Damani still Darren Thompson as well. Quest of Cut, Martin Lidham, Nutty Bond, Craig Beckwith, October Bay. Graham Clutterbuck, Victorian Lady, Jim Murray, Per Quittam, Swithy, or Graham Clutterbuck, San Pedro, and Vinnie Gerard, Stellar Performance, Leon Van Rensburg, Villefranche Parade, Jim Murray, Lord Carew, Padre Hogan, El Centro Air, Vinnie Gerard, About Me, James Shea, Bernie Spann, David Robertson, The Phoenix, Joshua Sutherland, Wisecrack, Ardcairn, Matt Cooper, Templar Knight, or Darren French, The Fault Line, Joshua Sutherland, Guard Francais, Leon Van Rensburg, Paperweight Walker, David Rawson, Pot of Cash, Greg Beckwith, Elvis Martin, Monty Land, John Morgan, Indian Adam Holden, Eternal Blade, Padre Hogan, 25 runners in the Mackerson Gold Cup, that's what we want to see, this always used to signify the start of the season proper and away and racing, back in the 70s and 80s, the first proper big handicap of the year and they're over the first, all 25 of them, and Elvis has gone straight into the lead, Elvis being dropped down from Three miles just about. And now that next one, the second, a mistake by Bernie Spann. It looks like Elvis is going to get an opportunity to lead by himself as they get into the third, but he's gone straight through that one and they've suddenly caught him up. Pot of cash was a faller at the back and now the fault line's gone on. So the fault line and Ocean of Lecker with Elvis between the two of them being driven back up to regain the lead. Then comes Monty Land. And a Victorian Lady and Villefranche Parade are up there as well. Quest of Cut is the one who's really wide on the track. Bernie Spann and Damani sticking on the back too. But Elvis is showing the way at the moment from the fault line in second. Ocean of Lecker is back in third. Then comes Victorian Lady Monty Land as they get into the fourth. Which Elvis skipped over nicely in front. The back marker at the moment is guard for say. But it's Elvis in front leading by a length to the fault line in second as they get to this plane one. This is number five. They're all safely over that one, just lost the one so far. And Elvis is in front by a bed. That's part of two lengths. As they come up past the stands and the enclosures. And Elvis from the fault line. And Monty Land is back in third. Oh, Monty Land's gone. He just ran straight into that fence. Didn't even take off. This will be the last on the next circuit. And Elvis is over in front. Oh, there's another one down there as well. San Pedro owner's gone, sir. One or two of them being caught out by the pace, I think. And it's Elvis who's setting the pace and he's now four clear of the fault line in second. Nutty Buns move through into third. Then comes Lord Carew. Then the Phoenix. They take this one going away from the stand. Mistake there by the Darren Thompson also on the inside. And I think that was Oceans of Lecker. But it's Elvis who's in the lead by six to the fault line in second. Then Lord Carew. Nutty Bun is fourth. Then comes the Phoenix. Paperweight Walkers after that one. Down on the inside. Eternal Blade. Wide on the track. Wise Crack Hard Ken as they take the ninth. Which they all stream over. Oh, no, they don't. There's another one gone up the back. It's Wisecrack Ardcairn's gone. So, big field catching me out as well. As Wisecrack Ardcairn, the latest to depart as they take the water. Nothing will fall up this one. They're all safely over the water. Elvis in the lead. The fault line is second. Lord Carew is back in third. Then Paperweight Walker and the Phoenix. Victorian Lady is next. Then Nutty Bun. Guard Fonse is wide on the track as they get over the next. And looking towards the back, stellar performance is now the back marker along with Eternal Blade. They're inside the final mile and over the 12th. And Elvis is still clear in the Mackison from the Phoenix in second. The Fault Line is in third. Then comes Lord Carew and Paperweight Walker. Nutty Buns after that. Then Perry Quickham, Stevie, the first of the Greys trying to get up the inside. Then comes Guard Fonse after that one. Then Victorian Lady, the second Grey over the next ditch. And now the Phoenix has come to take it up. It's the Phoenix who's gone on from Elvis on the inside trying to battle back. Then comes Paperweight Walker. After that one is the Fault Line. Lord Carew is next. Then comes Periquitum Sweevy. Now the one coming out of the pack is Templar Knight. There's one or two of these who've not got into it yet. Still got a lot of ground to make up. There's only three to get over. And it's the Phoenix who leads from Elvis in second. Paperweight Walker is in third. Then on the outside, Templar Knight is fourth. This is the third last... And over that one they go with the Phoenix in front. Templar Knight is in second. Now on the outside, Perry Quittum. Sweevy is coming through to challenge. Elvis is still there on the inside. October Bay, the fault line. Nutty Bond is still there as well. As they come down towards the 
Home turn and the final two fences. And it's the Phoenix over on the far side. Periquitum Sweevy down on this near side. They swing for home. Then comes Templar Knight. Paperweight Walker is after that one. About me is making good ground on the outside. There's still plenty of chances to get over the second last. But it's the Phoenix who's still in the lead. The Phoenix is in front from Periquitum Sweevy. Over the final fence they go. And it's the Phoenix who's getting away from it west. Here comes Guard Force on the outside. Victorian Lady is there as well. But it's the Phoenix who's still in the lead. The Phoenix is in front from Guard Force and Victorian Lady and it's the Phoenix who's hanging on and the Phoenix is going to race up towards the line and take the Mathis and the Phoenix wins it Guard Force A second place by Walker October by the fault line Lord Carew finished well I think Eternal Blade might have been the last one to finish and an action pack race with a strong pace set and it's gone at two the Phoenix and Joshua Sutherland, Guard France second, all Leon Van Rensburg, Paperweight Walker for David Robertson was third, Templar Knight Darren French was fourth, and October Bay for Leon Van Rensburg. What no, October Bay for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.